Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for you, and this is the Tattoo Mom Beanie. You can put mom, love, any little word you want to put on there. You can even put the baby's name on there. Um, but it looks like a tattoo of the heart with the little paper that goes across it or ribbon, whatever it is. Um, so we're going to make that beanie today. I'm using Red Heart Yarn, or as you can see here, it's um, Craft Smart, and this is the value size that um, the at Michaels you can find that there it's just the same thing as Red Heart Yarn um, I'm using these four colors we're using white, gray, red and black you can mix them up in any way you can um, you can either go with a darker gray you can go with a pink for a girl, pink heart um, there's different ways of making this in different colors once you get started and start making these you can come up with all kinds of different kinds of colors you want. I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook. I crochet very loose, so if you crochet tight, really tight, you want to use a 5. This is going to be for a child size head, so even if you're to do this for a newborn or a little baby, just go with the smaller size hook. Um, I will show you how to make um, this for a baby or anything like that. If you guys would want that, just comment below and I will try to get that out there as soon as I can. <coughs> You're going to be needing a tampers needle to sew in the name and all your little loose ends. So make sure you have one of these. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Um, they don't cost that much. You can get like a five pack for a dollar. Um, so if you can find a tamperous needle, it's a very large needle with a big opening hole so you can stick the yarn right through it. And scissors of course. So let's get started on this project. I'm going to start with the gray yarn. Okay, to get started we're going to make a slip knot. Everybody makes their slip knot differently. Um, this is the way I make mine and I've been doing this for years. So <laughs> I wrap the yarn over my fingers twice. I tuck it from behind. I bring that over, put my hook through, and release. Now I'm going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to double crochet 11 times in the first chain. First chain is all the way on the bottom right here. So I'm going to wrap the yarn over my hook, go into that chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. So that's a double crochet. We're going to do that 11 times. So that's one. I'm going to wrap the yarn over our hook, go into that same chain, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to show you one more time and then I'm going to continue on. Wrap the yarn over your hook, go into that same chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we just did three double crochets. We're going to continue on until we have 11. Into that same chain. I believe this one's my last one. Hold tightly on that loose string and now we're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're now going to be counting our double crochet, our chain 4 as a double crochet and we're going to slip stitch on the top of that chain to join. So we're going on the very very top of that chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the other loop. That's a slip stitch. Chain up two. One, 
and two. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch as the chain two. And now we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. You're going to wrap the yarn over, go into the next stitch, which is right here, I believe. Let me double check on that one. No, it's not. That's the same one. Okay, so we're going to double crochet into the next chain. Stitch, sorry, not chain. And then we're going to double crochet into that same stitch again, making it two in the same stitch, just like so. So we're going to do that all the way around by putting two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. That's one in the next stitch, and now I'm going to put the second one. So now it's two, and we're going to continue that all the way around. I'll meet you to the end. Okay, this one's my last one. Now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of my chain two to join. Now I'm going to chain up two, double crochet in the same stitch as the chain two. The next stitch you want to put one double crochet. The next stitch you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. The next stitch you're going to put one double crochet. The next stitch two double crochets into the same stitch. We're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. One double crochet in the next, two in the next. And as you can see here, it's one, two, one, two. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. I'll meet you at the beginning.
Okay, my last one. Now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of my chain two to join. Now I'm going to chain up two, double crochet in the same stitch as the chain two. We're going to do another pattern here. The next two stitches, you want to put one double crochet in each one. And then the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. The next two stitches, you're going to put one double crochet in each one. The next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. The next two stitches, one double crochet. The next stitch, two double crochets. So it's one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets. As you can see here. One, one, two. Repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, my last one, I'm going to slip stitch on the top of my chain 2 to join, and I'm going to chain up 2. Now we're going to do another pattern, and it's double crocheting the same stitch as our chain 2. The next 3 stitches, you're going to put 1 double crochet in each one. And the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. The 
the next three stitches you're going to put one double crochet The next stitch you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. The next three stitches you put one double crochet in each one and then the fourth one you put two. So the next three stitches one double crochet in each one. And the next stitch you're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. Repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch on the top of our chain two to join and chain up two. This round and all the other rounds we're going to be doing, we have one, two, three, four, five rounds. We're going to continue on until we um, have 15 total, so 10 more rounds we're going to do. And what we're going to do now is we are going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. When we get to the end here we slip stitch, chain up two and repeat it again until we have a total of 15 rows. So I'm going to continue on by doing mine one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and I will meet you back here with all 15 rows finished. Okay, as you see here, I've gone all the way up to row 15, and now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to place this down. 
I'm going to slip stitch and fasten off from here and we're going to change color. So now I'm going to do a rim around here and change the color. I'm going to go with black. Now to join the other color, I like to go back about three stitches, one, two, three, insert my hook. Then what I do is just fold the yarn over my finger and then take the hook and wrap it over that. So it's just like a little loop I'm taking in. Now I wrap the yarn over my hook and I just did a slip stitch. And that's pretty much all I need to do. Now what you're going to do is a half double crochet all the way around and that's going to be our brim. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wrap the yarn over our hook, go into the next stitch, wrap the yarn over, pull through, you got three on your hook, wrap the yarn over, and we're going to pull through all three. This is a half double crochet. And I apologize if you can't see the color, um, but I'm doing my best here. Wrap the yarn over your hook, go into the next stitch, you need to wrap the yarn over your hook again, pull through, you got three on your hook, wrap the yarn over and pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. Continue on until you get all the way around. So all you're doing is wrapping the yarn over, go into the next stitch, wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over and pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. Do that all the way around. And as you see, I have my loose stragglers laid down, so I can just crochet right over them and I don't have to sew in all my loose ends. Okay, so I'm on my last one already, slip stitch, and then what I'm going to do is just fasten off from here. Pull it all the way through. Now you want to get that tampers needle. And sew in your ends. So what I like to do is just go up on my stitches and come right back down. And just sew in all my ends. And as for the one in the middle, I go around and then go back around again and it tightens it up and fastens it off really good so it doesn't open up. So I'm going around the opposite way. That way it locks in. Now I'm back at the beginning and I'm going to go around again the opposite way, locking it in place. So I'm going back this way, but I'm skipping one of the little threads here so it locks.
Okay. So now I'm just going to cut off and we're going to start okay, the Okay, so the beanie's done. Now we have to do the heart. The heart is very, very simple. We're going to get our same hook. Wrap the yarn over your fingers twice. Tuck it from behind and make a slip knot. Put your hook through. Release. And we're going to chain up 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now you can make your heart as big or as small as you want it. If you want it smaller, you can do um, 6 or 8 chains. It depends on what you want. So I'm going to go with 12 here. And I'm going to single crochet into the second one from the hook and single crochet all the way across. And for those beginners, Single crochet is very easy, I'm sorry. I'm going ahead here. Um, you put your hook right into the stitch, wrap the yarn over, pull through. You got two on your hook, wrap the yarn over, and pull through two. That's a single crochet. So just do that all the way around. I mean, not all the way around, to the end of the chain, sorry. Okay, so now I'm at the end of my chain. I'm going to chain up one, turn my work around. Single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one, and now what I'm going to do is just single crochet all the way to the end again. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as chain one, and single crochet all the way across. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one, and single crochet across. Now we're going to repeat this over and over again until we get this part into a square. Um, I'm not sure how many rows it is again, but I'll find out right now as soon as I finish this up. And we're just repeating it over and over again. So this is round four. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as a chain one, and single crochet across. We're on row five. I believe it'll be row 12 because you want it to be a perfect square. So you got a chain of 12. So actually I think a row row 10 or 11, sorry, because you do decrease by 1. So chain 1, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as a chain 1, and single crochet across. We're on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as a chain one, and we're on round seven. 
so I'll crochet all the way across. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one, and single crochet across. We're on row eight. Chain one. Turn your work around, single crochet into the same stitch as the chain one, and single crochet across. Run round nine. Chain one, turn your work around, single crochet in the same stitch as a chain one, and single crochet across. We're on round ten. Now I'm going to stop on round 10 and as you can see here we have it looks like five rows one two three four and five we are going to be going right in between this one right here so if you look carefully there's an opening so you're going back one two three four five rows and we're going to go straight there. And we're going to do this in a triple crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook three times. I mean two times, sorry. You're going to go right into that stitch, which is right here. Wrap the yarn over, pull through. Wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to put the 10 triple crochets into that same stitch. So we just did one. Let's do another one. Wrap the yarn over your hook twice. Go into that same stitch again, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, and pull through two. So now we have to continue on until you have 10. Okay, this is my last one. Now I'm going to slip stitch on the corner and now we're going to do the other side. So you have 11 stitches. You want to go back um, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's make it 6 just to be right in the center, 6. And we're going to start triple crocheting right into the center right there on the 6th stitch. So you're going to put 10 triple crochets into that center right there. One, two, three, four, five, 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last but not least, ten. Now you're going to slip stitch on the corner. And I have my tail right there, so I'm going to slip stitch. Fasten off. sew on your ends. Now here is our heart as you can see and we're going to place this heart onto our beanie. You can have it sideways or you can have it straight. It depends on which way you want to sew this. So there's n any way you sew it no matter where it's at you will it's perfect you know what I mean? So you can sew this on right now if you want to I like to stick my hand right inside and sew it so I don't sew the two of them together while sewing this on. And now we're going to make the little white part that goes across it. Okay, for now the ribbon part, where you're going to write mom on, <clears throat> you're going to get the white yarn, make a slip stitch, I mean a slip knot, sorry, and chain up 22. And the second, <coughs> excuse me, second chain from the hook, single crochet, single crochet all the way across, leaving the last one undone. Last chain undone. So we're just single crocheting all the way across. Okay, one more, and as you can see, I have that last chain undone. Now I'm going to turn my work around. We're skipping the first stitch, moving to the second one, and we're going to single crochet. We're going to single crochet all the way across, leaving the last one undone. Okay, one more to go. As you can see, I have that last one undone. And what I'm going to do is turn my work around and repeat that same thing again. We're skipping the first one, moving to the second one, single crocheting into the second one. And we're going to single crochet all the way across, leaving the last one undone.
Okay, the last one is now undone. We're not doing that one. And what I'm going to do now is chain up one, turn my work around. We're going to put two single crochets into that same stitch as the chain one. And single crochet all the way across. The last stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. I'm at the last stitch. Now I'm going to put two single crochets into that same stitch. I'm going to chain up one, turn my work around, and repeat that same thing again on the last row. We're going to put two single crochets into the same stitch as the chain one, and single crochet all the way across. The last stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. So this last stitch right here, we're going to put two single crochets into the same stitch. Chain up one, turn our work around, put two single crochets into the same stitch as the chain one, single crochet all the way to the end, and the last stitch we're going to put two single crochets. Last one, two single crochets, one, back in the same stitch again, and two. Now we are going to fasten off here. And you want to sew in those ends so they won't get in the way when you're sewing it on there. But I'll do that after I'm done with the main. So this is the ribbon part, which will be going on top of here like so. So like I said, you can have it sideways or you can have it straight with the name, the thing going straight. It's up to you. But before you sew this on, you have to put the name on first. That way it's easier for you to just like hide the stitching. So for the name, okay, you can put mom, you can put love, you can put dad, any anything you want pretty much you can even put someone's name if it's short like Ray or um, Bella you know you can do that and the way you do the name is pretty much you're gonna make a chain as long as the letter should be so I'm gonna make a chain of 15 just out of the blue one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So, what you can do with this is you can make the M with it. You'll put it down like so, and you want to make sure everything is even. So, that's all you're going to be doing with this. If you checked out one of my tutorials, on how to put a name on a um, scarf. It's the same way. So you just make the chain long enough to make your letter. See the M? 
and then you're going to do with this O and the other one with the N. Or you can make the L, you know, like make it smaller, like it's probably a chain of 12 or something. And you can make L, O, V, E, you know. You can do any name you like. So I'm going to do the chain of 15 and I'm going to make two of these to make mom. Make sure you have a long enough tail so you can sew it in. So there's two. And now for the O. Um, I'm going to go with a chain of 12 just to be safe. So there's my chain of 12 and I just want to make sure it fits nicely. Yes it does as you can see there. So now I'm just going to fasten off. Now you're going to get your tampers needle. These are my M's. The long end of your thread, you want to put it on your tampers needle like so. Oh, there you go. Okay. And you're going to start from one end to the other. And then you're going to tie it off. So I'm going to start right here. I want it right in the center so I'm going at least one two three say four spaces away from there three actually three st stitches away from there and I'm gonna start sewing it on you can go in and out if you like or what I like to do is like just go right onto the top stitch and out through the other chain just like so see that one chain and out the other. And I just do that all the way up and just make sure I'm forming this. Making sure everything is nice and straight while sewing this on. I don't want to have any mistakes. Okay, now I'm bringing it down a little bit and I want to get that very tip so what I'm going to do is just get on the top of this stitch right here that's right next to it and get the top of this one and just do that and that will make this tip stay there for the end. Now I'm going to go down And again, I want to do the tip. So I'm going to grab whatever's close by to it and do that. Now go back up. Grab the tip. And I'm going back down again. A bit tough, but I have a lot of yarn in here, so. Gonna get that last one. There we go. And at the very end here, you have your two strings. You're just gonna pull it right, go through one side, all the way through. Take the other one, 
And you can just use your hook so you don't have to thread it in there. Hook it through, grab the other one, and tie the two ends together on the other side. And as you can see, you don't see my stitches on the other side. It's because I went up and out through the top of the loops and it sewed on. So now I'm just going to cut off the ends here. And once you sew this on, it hides those little ends right there and that's it. Now for the O. Now this is the O. I'm going to start at the bottom here too, right in the center. I'm going one, two, three, four to the fourth one right next to it. Just make sure it's in the center pretty much. And you want to go, make sure this is going oval. So that's in there. Now I'm just making sure everything is getting that little turn in there by making sure I sew it in that way. I hold it down. Whatever I'm going to put in there, I make sure it goes down first before I put my needle in. Now I'm bringing it around again. See that? How I like that? And there's my O. Bring it back down. Okay. And because there's only one here, I'm going to go into the other one on the other side. See that? I went into the other one to make sure it connects. Okay, before my son interrupted me, I'm pulling it all the way through, and that's the way it connects. Now you want to just go through both ends, this one through there, and get your hook again, and bring the other loose end to the other side, and you just tie the two ends together. Put the excess, and now we got the M and the L. Continue on until you get all the way through with mom, and then you just your heart should be sewed on. Then you just sew this part on with the white right over it, any way you want to. You can have it this way, you can have it that way, you can have it up, you can have it down. There's all kinds of different ways you can do this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to finish up here and put some pictures at the end of this. Um, if you have any questions, be free to comment below. Um, I will have the written pattern on my blog later on today as soon as I finish writing it up. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and like the video. And until next time... Happy crocheting. Bye.